Friends, welcome. Let us watch this totally unedited recording of FICO of this rock hard cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus. And now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision about three clock hours away and now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber I like to stain the anterior capsule underneath an air bubble the dye required is very less and the staining is very good if we stain the capsule underneath an air bubble And now the dye is washed out using BSS and a 23G Simco cannula. Now the antechamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. The methyl cellulose is applied over the corneal epithelium. In this video, we will see that the methyl cellulose can protect the corneal endothelium very well. Now capsulorexis is being done with the help of this uterita forceps and I am planning a large rexis. Size of the rexis is about 6 mm. In hard cataracts, if the size of the rexis is like this, nucleus management becomes very very comfortable now hydro dissection with a 27 gauss cannula and BSS the nucleus is gently tapped the nucleus is mobilized very gently hydro dissection is done at multiple points and then the nucleus is rotated and see how nicely the nucleus rotates and now again the AC is filled off with visco and this is one more side port on the left side of the main incision for introduction of the chopper and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle the exposed part of the FECO needle is little more than in other routine cases. I want to deliver a good amount of ultrasonic energy within the substance of the nucleus to divide the nucleus into several parts. And now the FECO needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial lens matter is aspirated and now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up and now watch carefully the submarine job totally unedited and real time the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus it goes through the substance of the nucleus towards the opposite equator as a submarine moves through water and as it reaches near the opposite equator I get a very nice crack with the chopper. I rotate it 180 degree, make few sculpts to go to a deeper plane and along the initial crack I divide the nucleus completely into two heminuclei. And I am planning to divide this heminucleus into three parts. This is one and this part is again subdivided to get another two pieces so this seminucleus has been divided into three pieces and now rotate come to the other heminucleus and I divide this into two pieces so I have divided the nucleus into five fragments and now I tilt each fragment 
and start emulsifying. this fragment is being emulsified with ultrasonic energy of 90 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury the emulsification is being carried out just below the iris plane taking care not to come forward because I have to use lot of ultrasonic energy and I don't want to damage a single endothelial cell at this time I plan to come out inject some more visco and protect the corneal endothelium nicely inject some more visco behind the pieces and now I go again with the hand piece tilt the pieces and emulsify them very easily they get emulsified with 90% ultrasonic energy in continuous mode this is Oatly Catarx 3 and you will be s surprised to see the post op pictures which is coming shortly this is the last nuclear piece I am emulsifying it very slowly at this time I come to FECO on mode where the ultrasonic energy is 80 percent flow rate is 20 and vacuum is 80 millimeter of mercury and here it is you get a very nice outcome so the nucleus has been nicely managed posterior capsule is intact and I'm sure the corneal endothelium is nicely protected I have post op pictures so please watch the video till the end I have enlarged the main wound because I'm going to use a B cartridge to implant the intraocular lens this is a totally unedited recording and you are not missing anything This is cortical cleanup with the help of a 23G Simco cannula. Now I go through the right side port and remove the cortex from 11 o'clock and 10 o'clock. the left sideboard is too small to introduce the Simco and now is the time to implant the intraocular lens the anterior chamber is maintained by irrigation and a uh, monofocal single piece intraocular lens goes into the capsular bag and in this case we see that the leading haptic is stuck to the optic of the intraocular lens sometimes it gets firmly stuck and takes time to get released sometimes we may have to use two instruments injecting visco to release the haptic from the optic but in this case I am just waiting so that it gets released by itself I 
I'm going to close the side ports so that the haptic and optic gets time to get detached. To protect the corneal endothelium in such hard cataracts, soft shield technique has been described, but in many areas of the world it is not possible to use a very high quality, very costly viscoelastic substances. Hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is very economic and we can afford this. And this patient cannot afford the cost of even FECO patient has paid for SICS but I am doing FECO to raise my FECO skills. Yes, by this time the optic has got detached from the haptic. The antechamber has been nicely formed and the case is concluded. Let us see the post-op pictures. After not even 24 hours, this is after 18 hours. See the cornea is clear, antechamber is quiet, the intraocular pressure is normal, unaided vision is 6 by 12 and the patient is very very happy. Thank you very much for your attention, hope this video will make you believe that 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose can protect the corneal endothelium very well. The key is use ultrasonic energy to emulsify the pieces just below the iris plane in the anterior part of the capsular bag.